WSMV4 News. I'm Amanda Hara. Thanks for joining us for this WSMV4 News update. Three people are on the run after a crash with a tractor trailer. These are some of the images of that crash from our partners at Smoky Bar News. This happened yesterday on Joe Dowlin Road. That's in Pleasant View. Police say the people in the car may be hurt and that regardless, they ran from the scene. A motorcycle crash in Clarksville is now under investigation. You can see and hear that ambulance taking someone from the scene. That video comes from our partners at Dash 10 Media. The crash happened on Warfield Boulevard and part of Rossview Road. From the video, you can see what appears to be at least one other vehicle involved in that crash. We're nearly a month into the school year and districts are still working to hire teachers. Metro schools need to fill about 150 positions. That's a small improvement compared to earlier this month when 170 jobs were open. But parents are worried about how this is going to impact their child's education. These teachers got a lot that they have to go through, like I said, with different kids and personalities. And you got different home lives and, you know, each kid has different needs. Well, the district recently made 27 hiring recommendations for teacher and classroom associate positions. School leaders say they're going to keep working to fill the openings throughout the year. Rutherford County Schools, they're still hiring as well. They've got positions open for custodians, cafeteria workers, and some teaching positions. Labor Day weekend getting close. Police are warning about drunk driving. 76 crashes involved alcohol in Kentucky over Labor Day weekend last year. That's according to state police. And they say one person died and that 44 people were hurt. We always say uh, if you're going to drive, uh, please don't drink. And if you're going to drink, do not drive. It's not just your decision, your life. You're actually making decisions that affect a lot of lives. AAA says more drivers are expected to be on the road as well this weekend, creating a danger in and of itself. TDOT's TDOT is stopping lane closures over the holiday weekend. This is for all interstates and state highways. Lane closures will be stopped Friday at noon. They'll pick back up Tuesday morning. And there may still be workers in some of those construction zones, so make sure you watch out for them. BNA expects more travelers coming through the airport this weekend. More than 300,000 people are supposed to pass through TSA checkpoints. Sunday projected to be the peak travel day. All right, Stefano, let's talk about the forecast as we get closer to the weekend. We're going to creep back closer to some of those higher temperatures. Well, we are. We are going to see the 90s eventually she make a comeback as we go through the weekend, and that'll be a slow process. The humidity should come back as well with it. Today, we're watching for a spotty shower east of I-65, perhaps a rumble of thunder. All of that looks pretty isolated. Most of the rest of the area lower and into the mid 80s. A few 70s will stay in the plateau. Overnight tonight, we'll fall to the 60s and a couple of 50s tomorrow morning. It will be a cooler start and maybe some patchy fog with no big weather troubles headed out the door. More all day sunshine comes our way tomorrow as we get back into the lower and mid 80s. Once again, the 80s should hang around through the end of the week before the 90s return just in time for the holiday weekend. Yes, the heat does build back in, but it's not going to be terrible heat like what we saw last week and the humidity should come back with that won't be overly oppressive, but I think you'll notice toward the end of the week and the weekend after a good break in that humidity, we should see things start to get just a little bit more of a full summer feel as we go into the second half of our weekend. So let's talk about the first alert seven day. 85 will be the high for today. We'll fall to 64 for the overnight low tonight, though there will be some spots mainly in the higher elevations, lower 60s, perhaps even the upper 50s. We're at 85 tomorrow, even a further break from the humidity, more breaks from the humidity on Thursday. It's essentially a repeat day as we are in the 80s. Friday, it should start to get slightly more humid at 88. Saturday and Sunday, we kick off the holiday weekend near and into the 90s. The humidity, yes, it is present, so it may feel like we're a little bit higher into the 90s, but doesn't look all that bad. Next couple of nights should be nice and comfortable as we stay through the 60s and then climb our way back near 70 for the overnights as we go into early next week. For your Labor Day on Monday, temperatures are in the mid 90s with the humidity factored in. I would expect it to feel more like the upper 90s, and we'll see if that heat wants to hang with us even through the middle of next week, Amanda. All right, Stefano, thanks. That's your WSMB4 News update. You can stay connected in our news and weather apps. Weather app is a great tool as the weather changes. We're going to send big alerts straight to your phone so you can stay ahead of what's headed your way. Have a great day.